While Elon Musk's SpaceX is preparing for a historic landing on Mars, China is setting its sights on the icy depths of our solar system. The China National Space Administration has created the awe-inspiring Neptune Explorer, a nuclear-powered spacecraft designed to study the magnificent planet and its largest moon, Triton. With a launch date set for 2030 and an estimated mission duration of at least 15 years, the Neptune Explorer is poised to arrive at its destination in 2036. The Journey to Neptune The Neptune Explorer will embark on a journey that will take it past Jupiter, taking advantage of the planet's immense gravity to redirect its trajectory to increase its velocity. The spacecraft has been equipped with a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, RTJ, to power its mission with a nuclear battery that utilizes the heat energy generated by the decay of radioactive material to produce electricity. With a capacity of 10 kilowatt energy, the RTG is capable of providing reliable energy for the Neptune Explorer's long mission, ensuring that all the vital systems remain operational and functioning efficiently. The use of RTG technology will allow the spacecraft to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system without worrying about power constraints. The Mission Objectives The Neptune Explorer is a groundbreaking mission to uncover the secrets of one of the outermost planets in our solar system. Upon arrival at Neptune, the spacecraft will commence a polar orbit, which will provide a comprehensive view of the planet from various angles. The primary goals of this mission are to gather global remote sensing data and to study Neptune's internal structure, atmospheric composition and movement, magnetic field, and the impact of the solar wind. Additionally, the probe will also examine the moons and ring system of Neptune. The results of this mission will offer new insights into the formation, early history, and potential future of the solar system. Furthermore, the probe will address the puzzle surrounding the immense hurricanes on Neptune and the reason behind the Great Dark Spot. The Study of Triton the Neptune Explorer mission has Triton, the largest moon of Neptune, as one of its main focuses. The Voyager 2 spacecraft only imaged 40% of its surface, so this mission will provide much higher resolution images of the previously unphotographed sides. The probe will generate valuable scientific data on Triton's geophysical activity, subsurface environment, and the ice cap of frozen nitrogen and methane, which is the coldest place in the solar system. This new data will provide insight into Triton's origin, helping to determine if it formed as a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt before being captured by Neptune. Studying Triton will also help scientists better understand the evolution of our solar system and the potential for habitability of icy moons in other planetary systems. Deployment of Microsatellites in addition to the main spacecraft, four microsatellites will be deployed during the mission. These microsatellites weigh a total of 100 kilograms and will serve multiple purposes. Two of them will be released en route to Neptune to visit a main belt and a Centaur-class asteroid, while the other two will be used as penetrators. One will target Neptune's atmosphere, and the other will target Triton's surface for deeper observation and data collection. Conclusion in conclusion, the China National Space Administration is set to embark on a groundbreaking mission with the Neptune Explorer, a nuclear-powered spacecraft set to study Neptune and its largest moon, Triton. Launching in 2030 with an estimated mission duration of 15 years, the Neptune Explorer will use RTG technology to explore the outermost reaches of the solar system. The main goals of the mission include gathering data on Neptune's internal structure, atmosphere, magnetic field, and impact of the solar wind, as well as providing new insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. That's all for today. To keep up with our future videos, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Until next time, take care. Thank you for watching.